Hey there, I hope you've had a wonderful week and got caught up on all those Unreal Fest videos. If you're itching for more video content, our recent webinar on real-time ray tracing for architectural visualization is also available for viewing. Build Media showed how to set up and optimize a ray tracing pipeline for live navigation through a photo reel interior with NVIDIA Quadro RTX GPUs. Roughly two years later, after the release of Robo Recall on Oculus Rift, Drifter Entertainment was tasked with porting the game to the Oculus Quest. Despite more modest system specs, Robo Recall Unplugged plays identically to its Rift counterpart. The game features the same amount of enemies, physics, and spatial audio as the original. Drifter Entertainment was able to bring all of this over with just seven people in six months. To shed light on how the team accomplished this, we interviewed technical director Matt Tonks. He outlines challenges the team had to overcome, elaborates on what optimizations netted the biggest performance gains, and shares quest development tips. We have good news for current and aspiring Unreal developers. The demand for real-time 3D skills, especially those associated with using Unreal Engine, are becoming integral to many occupations across the economy. Burning Glass Technologies, a labor market analytics firm, found that the demand for Unreal Engine skills is growing faster than any other segment in real-time 3D, and those jobs are paying the highest salary premiums in all of 3D graphics. You can read the full report, Visualizing the Future, Demand for 3D Graphics and Real-Time 3D Across the Economy, or check out our summary for highlights. You may have noticed a few changes to the look of the Unreal documentation site. Along with changes to the visual style, we've made improvements to streamline the site, improve its reliability, and make pages load faster overall. A few tasks related to the migration are still in progress, so you may find some functionality not behaving quite the way it ought to. While we work through to update everything, please bring any odd behavior or any other feedback to our attention in the documentation feedback forum. As fans of arena shooters and Portal, 1047 Games set to create a Halo-esque multiplayer game featuring Valve's innovative teleportation mechanic. What began as a college dorm prototype using the shooter game template evolved into an FPS that fundamentally alters the genre in a new compelling way. Hear from their studio CEO and co-founder as he describes how they optimized gunplay to take advantage of portals, elaborates on how they design levels to facilitate tactical teleportation, and exclaims how they're eager to bring back the glory days of arena shooters with a new modern twist. As we gear up for E3, we know many Unreal devs from around the world are preparing to showcase their projects on the industry's biggest stage, and we're proud to partner with Intel and NVIDIA yet again to host the Unreal E3 Awards. The awards provide an opportunity to recognize outstanding achievements across five distinct categories while rewarding teams with top-of-the-line hardware. Each team that takes home top honors in any category will be awarded an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics card and an Intel i9-9900K processor brought to you by Intel's Game Dev program. Email us at e32019 at unrealengine.com to let us know you'll be at the show. And now for our top weekly Karma earners. Many thanks to EveryNun, Shadow River, Arlen, MR, Norlin, Indie Game Cove, Tsumisaki, Nebula Games Inc., Augusto Mora, and Garner P57. They've helped their fellow devs on Answer Hub, Head on over, answer questions, and you too could see your name up here. All right, on to our spotlights of this week. First up is a Scandinavian interior using ray tracing with everything rendered in real time. In addition to this beauty, Pascal has many other stunning scenes, so be sure to give him a follow and see what else he's working on. Next up is Zira Survival, an action-focused looter shooter designed from the ground up as a multiplayer open-world PvPVE experience with a global gear stash. It's year 2022, when a prototype combat robot becomes self-aware, only you and competing mercenaries can end a war that humanity cannot afford to lose. And our final spotlight this week is Alluris, a swipe-your-own-adventure game where you explore an interconnected world by only swiping left or right. Raid dungeons, steal loot, repair broken carts, marry a rat, it's up to you. Thanks for tuning in for the Unreal Engine News and Community Spotlight.